In this video, I will show you how to find the total area of a cone and a truncated cone. A cone is a solid with a curved surface. It consists of a single circular base and a single lateral face. Its sole vertex is called an apex. To find the area of a cone, you need the following formula. The total area is equal to the area of the base plus the lateral area. Let's look at the formula together. The area of a base, usually denoted A subscript B, is the area occupied by the figure serving as the cone's base. In a cone, the base is always a circle. To find its area, you have to use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. The lateral area, usually denoted A subscript L, is the surface of the cone that does not serve as its base. The lateral face of a cone is always represented by a sector of a circle. To find its area, you have to multiply pi by the radius and the apothem. To explain why, we will inspect the net of a cone. First, the cone's apothem is the distance between the apex and any point on the outline of the base, which is the circumference of the circle. The apothem is represented by the letter A. The height of a cone is the distance from the apex to the center of the base, measured perpendicularly. It is important not to confuse it with the cone's apothem. The cone's height is not used when calculating the total area. Since the lateral face of a cone is a sector of a circle, we use the following proportions and some algebraic calculations to get the formula pi times r times a. This enables us to calculate the area of the sector, that is the lateral area. Let's go back to the formula for calculating the total area of a cone. The total area, generally denoted A subscript T, is the surface covered by all the figures forming the cone. Since the faces that make up a cone are always a circle and a sector of a circle, we can conclude that the cone's total area is always equal to pi r squared plus pi r a. Let's look at a first example together. In this example, you are asked to find the total area of the cone. Since the total area is equal to the area of the base plus the lateral area, you can proceed in three steps. First, calculate the area of the base, then calculate the lateral area, and finally calculate the total area. Otherwise, you can do the math in one step. Since it is a cone, you replace AB by pi r squared and AL by pi r a. Since the radius is two centimeters, you replace all r's with two. The apothem is five centimeters, so you replace a with five. Next, you calculate following the order of operations. You can decide to keep pi for the end of the calculation. When proceeding this way, the calculations are faster and you end up with a more precise answer. Two squared equals four. Four pi is the cone's base area. Next, you calculate pi times two times five, which equals 10 pi. This is the lateral area of the cone. Adding the area of the base to the lateral area equals the total area of 14 pi centimeters squared, which equals approximately 43.98 centimeters squared. Let's look at a second example. The following is a cone. We will cut this cone using a plane parallel to the base, removing the top and creating a truncated cone. You are asked to find the total area of the truncated cone. If you examine the truncated cone closely, you will see that it is made up of two non-identical bases and a curved lateral face. The truncated cone's large base corresponds to the large base of the original cone. It is a circle with a radius, R1, measuring five centimeters. The small base corresponds to the base of the part that is removed. It is a circle with a radius, R2, measuring two centimeters. The truncated cone's lateral face is the difference between the lateral area of the large cone and that of the small cone that is removed. The apothem of the large cone, denoted A1, measures 12 centimeters, while the apothem of the small cone, denoted A2, measures 4.8 centimeters. The measurement of 7.2 will not be used in this example. Based on these elements, we determine the following formula. The truncated cone's total area is equal to the large cone's base area plus the small cone's base area plus the large cone's lateral area minus the small cone's lateral area. 
To find the truncated cone's total area, you can start by calculating the large cone's base area using the formula pi r squared. Since the radius r1 measures 5 centimeters, you replace r1 with 5. Next, you calculate while respecting the order of operations. 5 squared is 25, so the area of the large cone's base is 25 pi. You continue with the area of the small cone's base using the same formula, but with a radius r2 of 2 centimeters, you get 4 pi. Next, you calculate the lateral area of the large cone using the formula pi ra. The radius is 5 centimeters, so you replace r1 with 5. Since the apothem is 12 centimeters, you replace a1 with 12. You get 60 pi. You use the same formula to obtain the lateral area of the small cone. However, replace r2 by 2 and a2 by 4.8. You get 9.6 pi. To find the total area of the truncated cone, complete the calculations. 25 pi plus 4 pi plus 60 pi minus 9.6 pi. So the total area of the truncated cone is 79.4 pi centimeters squared, which is equivalent to approximately 249.44 centimeters squared. I hope the video helped you understand how to calculate the area of cones and truncated cones.